Hi, I'm Keely, and this is the Bookmark Club. Today, I'm going to be reading Peaceful Piggy Meditation by Carrie Lee McLean. Carrie Lee McLean dedicates this book to her sweet daughter, Tessa, the queen of loving kindness. Sometimes the world can be such a busy, noisy place. Does that look like your house? Looks like mine. Sometimes it feels like you always have to hurry, hurry, hurry. And you feel like you can't slow down, even when you're sitting down. Like playing the video game? You're not calm. Competition's hot. It can be hard not to lose your temper when you're angry. And you can get really frustrated when things don't go your way. Look, he lost the game. So it's good to have a peaceful place inside. It's good to meditate. Peaceful piggies know when to take a break and find a quiet spot and just breathe. See this part? He is frustrated with his homework. Homework's hard, but Peaceful Piggy knows to take a break and reset, and then he can do it better when he goes back at the table. Mom or dad might help them set up a special place with a few things, maybe a crystal for clear thinking, stone for stillness, or a flower for kindness. See, you can set up your meditation spot. Peaceful Piggies sit like a king or a queen on their throne, feeling the solid earth beneath them and the big sky all around them. Every day they sit, feeling their breath going in and out until their minds calm down. So Peaceful Piggies feel free like a bird in the sky and as calm as a pond on a cool, clear night. Doesn't that look peaceful? This makes it easier to accept things that happen and stop wishing for things to be different. Come back to life, Goldie. She's gone. Have you ever lost a family pet? It hurts. Meditation can help. When you're peaceful, you can be fearless. Look, see how afraid he is? Fearless. Because he found his peace. That piggy is living his best life. Best of all, when you're feeling peaceful, you like who you are, just as you are. I'd better say sorry, I was mean to her. So it's easier to face the truth about yourself. He's thinking about how he was mean to her. He's gonna apologize to her tomorrow, I'm sure. And it's easier to stand up to others. See, he stood up to the bully. Peaceful piggies take good care of their friends. Happy birthday! He made his friend a cake. And their enemies too. So he made a cake for his friend, but he sliced a piece for his enemy. How cool is that? That's peaceful piggy level if you ask me. They try to be loving and kind to all beings, even the worms. Yes, be nice to the worms. By slowing down, peaceful piggies notice all the magical little things in life, like the way raindrops race each other down the window. Isn't that peaceful? The way clouds tell silent stories and the way birds sing songs just for you. Do you ever look for shapes in the clouds? I do, I see shapes all the time. What shapes do you see when you look in the cloud? Having a peaceful place inside helps keep a happy heart happy. So that even on a horrible, look at that bully tripped him, painful, Disgustingly rotten day. Looks like trying to eat broccoli or spinach. 
a peaceful piggy can smile. Look at that big old smile. So peaceful piggy still has his smile even though he had a pretty rotten day. I like it. Here on the back is a peaceful piggy meditation. Also a mind in a jar experiment. So with adult supervision, you can make your own mind jar. Here's an example of one. I didn't make this, I bought this online. But if you shake it up, those are all your angry thoughts. And they're swirling around like crazy, aren't they? Well, meditation is to sit here and watch these sparkles slowly settle down to the bottom. When the very last sparkle has settled down to the bottom, your meditation is complete. Now you can make a jar like this at home, um, again with adult supervision. You can have a jar with a tight fitting lid, some water and glitter, and you have yourself your own mind jar. All right guys, you can get a copy of this book at your local library, uh, your school's media center, or even online. And when you do, come on back and we'll read it together. In the meantime, take care. Bye-bye.